I think it will be very healthy for the India-U.S. relationship. It's already very healthy. Um, sometimes we get concerned about how close India is buying oil and gas from Russia. Um, but, you yeah, know, the President Biden's relationship with President Modi has been very strong. And we have an enormous Indian-American population in the United States, leading so many businesses, professors in universities, lots of small businesses, having the first uh, woman of Indian descent be the first woman and the first person of Indian descent as our president will send a very good message to the one and a half billion people who live on the subcontinent. No, and I would tell you why. Um, it was a big idea when my father had uh, Mr. Ron Brown to uh, get elected to be the DNC chairman. That was something new. It was a big idea to talk about a woman being on the ticket. It was a big idea to talk about a free South African and free Nelson Mandela, a two-state solution in the Middle East. And now this is commonplace. We've seen a, a president, uh, a female Democratic nominee before, and Mrs. Hillary Clinton. Now we see a, another Democratic nominee that's a female, and Ms. Harris. We've seen a vice president to become, uh, to be a female, that this is now the new norm, and that's great. So our expectations have uh, risen, and now we can meet them. We don't have to look at floors. Now we're looking at ceilings being removed not just glass ceilings, but concrete ceilings, and let us recognize women in leadership. Well, this is a this convention is definitely showing democratic unity the way it would not have been a month ago. I mean, if Joe Biden were still the Democratic candidate, there was virtually no way we would be seeing this level of enthusiasm. In fact, a lot of questions will be asked about whether or not he could may stay in this race and whether he can win. What is different now is that the, there's enthusiasm because they believe that Kamala Harris could win this race. They believe that she is actually someone who could bring in a new co a coalition of voters, potentially attract Republican voters, and get them over the finish line. I would say there's probably more enthusiasm now than there was in the Hillary Clinton convention, in a large part because people are really energized in the Democratic Party about trying to stop Donald Trump. They believe that she's a candidate who can do that. There's a view back in the Hillary Clinton days that she was the favorite, that Donald Trump really had no shot. There's a much different view within the party when it was Clinton versus Trump versus Harris versus Trump. However, comparing it to 2008 is much different. Barack Obama brought in a whole different level of energy. I don't think you can really compare what Kamala Harris is to Barack Obama. It was a whole different Democratic Party back then, a whole different generation of candidate and the like. But nevertheless, you are seeing a Democratic Party that has its base back and is ready to compete against Trump in November.